Welcome to Coach Needs a Coach, the podcast for coaches of all sports and all age groups to learn from coaches and people they may otherwise never have the chance to meet. Today on See One, Do One, Teach One, I want to give you another example and study about gratitude. This one is pretty cool. It was published in 2016. And it was a study where over a thousand participants were randomly assigned to one of three groups. There was a gratitude group, a neutral group, and a hassles group. The gratitude group was asked to respond via email to a daily survey recounting things that they were grateful for. The neutral group was asked about events that were neither negative nor positive, and the hassles group was asked to answer questions about something bad that happened that day. The results are too telling. I'll quote this directly from the study. The gratitude intervention managed to increase positive affect, subjective happiness, and life satisfaction and reduce negative affect and depression symptoms. This change was greater than the changes in the control groups in relation to positive affect. In the other outcomes analyzed, similar changes were observed in the gratitude intervention and the neutral events intervention. Participants assigned to the intervention condition were asked to write daily gratitude lists for 14 days, listing moments they had been grateful for during the day. For the hassles group, the instructions were, in life, we sometimes encounter hassles and annoying situations that may bother and irritate us. They can occur in various realms of our lives, in personal relationships, in the workplace, at university, at home, or in relation to finances or health. Think back over the past day and write down five hassles or annoying situations you had to face. For the neutral events group, the instructions were, during the day, there are events, both large and small, that end up affecting us. Think back over the past day and write down five events that somehow affected you. For the gratitude group, the instructions were, there are many things in our lives, both large and small, that we might be grateful for. Think back over the past day and write down five things in your life that you are grateful for. That's the end, end the quote from the study there. The fact that in two weeks, people's subjective happiness changed. They spent no money. They had no significant extra time. There were no grand gestures. The simple act of reflecting and writing down five things <clears throat> that happened to them that were good. That's too powerful not to share. That's too powerful to not incorporate in our practices as coaches. I firmly believe that writing those things down changes our trajectory. I've seen it in my own life. I think that when we're grateful for what we have, we then earn the right to have more of whatever it is we want. So that's my challenge to you, is that of this study. Write down five things you're grateful for for two weeks at the end of the day and watch what happens. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Keep getting better every day.